everybody, Thrifty Teresa here. It's time for the last sales report for 2015. This is going to cover the second half of December from December 16th to December 31st. I had um, a decent number of sales during that period, even though it was the week of Christmas and the week of New Year's. Um, I had pretty consistent sales. I had no specialty rush orders or anything like that, um, but some nice little sales overall. Uh, during that time, I sold 13 items. Um, I'm going to be telling you the price that they sold for on Etsy, but I've already had in, I've already gone ahead and done my spreadsheet here, and I can tell you that my net profit for all the items after fees, after shipping, after everything, uh, is $120.71, and that averages out to $8.05 per item. So anyway, not too bad. Let me go ahead and show you what was sold. First item that sold here is this Avon set from the 70s. It is a, a recipe box tin with this great orange and yellow um, design on it. It had uh, these orange soaps that were in them, and uh, they were still extremely aromatic uh, for being from the 70s, but they were all sealed and everything in there. They came sealed in their box, and then the uh, recipe box itself was in a box. A uh, very beautiful piece. I sold that for $12. Uh, next item that sold here is this set of mini serving trays with a Santa and his sleigh. Uh, winter scene on it. This was an international order. I sold the uh, pair of trays for $9, but the customer paid considerably more than that for shipping, um, and this shipped over to the UK. Next sale is a um, trivet, a Chianti bottle trivet, uh, Italian wine, cheese, all that good stuff on the design there, and even the uh, metal on the outside looks like a uh, Chianti bottle. Uh, nice little piece that sold for $12. Then we got some uh, old uh, vintage University of Washington Husky stickers. Um, these, I can't remember the exact date on them, I don't remember. I took a picture of the back of it or not uh, but anyway these are some some vintage stickers I sold the set for only five dollars uh, funny enough this went to Portland uh, somewhere down in Portland and the customer when they placed the order asked for discreet shipping so I'm guessing this was a gift for somebody or maybe they just didn't want me to be writing go huskies all over the uh, package um, I had my regular mailing label on there that I print out on my Dymo and when I do that it does put the Etsy logo on it um, so I hope by having Etsy on the label that that did not ruin any sort of surprise if this was a gift I wasn't quite sure how else to do uh, discreet shipping um, Anyway, that was a $5 sale. Uh, next item are the set of um, coasters, uh, but this set is from Lady Claire, and they, instead of coasters, they call them traditional placemats. Um, so this is a, a sealed set of these uh, coasters. They have these uh, gorgeous horse uh, illustrations on them. I would have loved to have seen the other uh, pictures because these are gorgeous, but again, the set is sealed and I didn't want to open it. So uh, we just went ahead and sold it like that. This set sold for $25. Next item is this uh, I Love Girl Scout Cookies pin. Who doesn't? Everybody loves Girl Scout Cookies. Uh, this is a, a very vintage pin. You can tell by the back side there. It's all metal. It's got the turned corners. It's got the old style stick pin on it. They really don't make them like that anymore. Um, nice little piece. It wasn't all rusty or anything. Uh, this sold for $6.00. Next item is a counted cross stitch kit, small little kit uh, with an oval uh, shape, little shepherd boy. Uh, if you zoom in here, it shows it like little city of Bethlehem is in the back. So it's a cute little um, kit that was for $8. 
Uh, the very same day, but to a different customer, another uh, craft kit sold. Uh, this is a cruel embroidery kit with a beaver on it with this cute little saying about when you cut wood, it warms you twice. Uh, nice little piece. Um, it is from 1978. It is uh, almost as old as I am, and uh, it was still sealed, so that was pretty neat. Uh, this kit sold for $12. Uh, then I sold another one of my eggplant dishes, and this was actually a repeat customer. Um, it was not the same customer that uh, bought the eggplant dish uh, the other week, because I still have a few of these. I'm selling them individually rather than as a set. Um, anyway, this person uh, the other week bought uh, some buttons uh, from me, and uh, this time they came back and bought this little uh, eggplant dish. So, you know, it's a nice little spoon rest. You could use it for soy sauce and wasabi or, you know, just a nice little cute little dish. Um, I'm selling the eggplant dishes for $6. I still have some in my shop. If you want one, go get it. Uh, sold another Frank Sinatra pin. Uh, this one has uh, old blue eyes there. Start spreading the news, singing his uh, New York, New York song. This button uh, sold for $12. Then I had another international sale. Uh, this is a set of Canasta cards with this gorgeous uh, dancer on it. And uh, this set went to, where did they go? Was it New Zealand or Australia? Australia. They went to Australia. Uh, the set of cards uh, themselves sold for $12. And then, of course, the customer paid uh, more for shipping. Okay, and then I had this sale is another uh, cross stitch kit. It says love me love my cat. It's this uh, cute little kitten in these pastel colors in a basket. Uh, this kit sold for $20 and um, I'm actually thinking I may have um, not priced it high enough. <laughs> I had this in my shop for less than 24 hours before it sold. Um, it wasn't anything exciting. It was from 1993. It's not super vintage. Um, but I guess, hey, somebody loves their cat. So they're going to do this cross-stitch kit. And again, they bought it for 20 bucks. Last sale of the year is a set of playing cards. Uh, these cards uh, feature... Um, trees and leaves and seeds uh, from two different types of trees. We got a mulberry tree and then a shagbark hickory tree. Um, this item got lots of views. Um, people really liked this and I had it in my shop for quite a long time. It's been in there since September. Um, these sets of cards came with a little um, rule book on certain types of how, certain types of uh, bridge playing. Um, nice little set, nice little box. Uh, this set sold for $12. So that's it. That was my last sale of the year. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how things went. Again, uh, the total for 13 items, my profit after fees, after shipping, after cost of goods and everything, my profit was $120.71. And uh, that'll be a nice little uh, money in my pocket. I'm going on vacation here in the end of January, so I will spend that probably in Las Vegas. <laughs> so I hope everybody else had happy sales, happy new year, and I'm excited for 2016. See you later, everybody. Bye.